Okay, so this is my second probability distribution video, and in the first one we explained the conditions for a binomial. In this one, we're going to actually do some questions. So, here's my question that I had last time, and in the conditions one, I explained how I could justify this was a binomial distribution, and we talked about how to use the calculator and how to generate those answers. Now, I have my calculator here, and we may use that in a minute to help us, but we may not. Okay, so if I focus on the first one, I want to get the probability that x equals 2, because it's exactly 2 halves. And that means I'm going to be using the binomial PDF on my calculator, and my parameters are number of trials first, the probability of success, and the amber I want to get the outcome of. So that's binomial P. DF probability distribution function and it's six comma quarter comma two and when I type that into my calculator I get 0 0.2966 to four decimal places nice and straightforward and on my calculator just to show you that oops, went too far. I turn it on to get to my distribution I go second function distributions it's on variables and you can scroll down but it's actually quicker to scroll up because they're near the bottom. Okay, so if you scroll up, you get to binomial PDF. If you want to learn the number or the letter, this means you can get there quicker. And it's the order you type it in. So it's six, comma, a quarter, comma, two. And there's my answer. So that's working fine. Okay, if I go to my second one, I want to work out the probability is less than two. Now, less than two does not include two, so I need to work out less than or equal to one. Okay, so therefore, because it's less than or equal to, I'm going to use CDF, which is cumulative distribution function. Okay, and the order is the same: six a quarter one. Don't ask me why it's chosen to convert one over four in this case to a quarter and not on the other two. And when I type that in, I get 0.5339 to four decimal places. Notice I'm doing my answers for DP. It's just fairly convenient. So my last one is asking for me to probably to getting more than two hearts. Now, more than two hearts is X is greater than or equal to two. But that doesn't include two hearts. So when I want to work out the opposite side, so make it less than or equal to, I've got one minus, because that now gives me the bit I'm interested in, the probability of x is less than or equal to 2 because this did not include 2. So I'm going to do 1 minus the binomial CDF of 6, a quarter, and 2. Being clear, because there's only two outcomes, either it's less than 2, or it's or less than or equal to 2, or it's greater than 2. So that's why I can just use the 1 minus. So that's 1 minus 0 0.8306 which gives me an answer of 0 0.1694 to 4 dp. Now, a quick thing, if you're ever taking stuff away from 1, each one of these numbers, so the 9 and the 1 have to add up to the 9, the 3 and the 6 have to add up to 9, the 9 and the 0 have to add up to 9, but the last decimal place has to add up to 10. So if I had 0 0.8306, I know it's 0 0.1694 straight away, and I haven't had to type it into my calculator. Okay, so that's binomial 